Hi, everyone, and welcome back. All right, let's go around the world. Aries to Pisces and see what's going on. Whenever it resonates. Aries. I'll get two cards for the Tree of Life. Wow, look at that. Money, feeling good, making money, getting money. Oh, look at this. How do we make our money? Why is the Seven of Swords there? Okay, I'm going to leave it here because I feel that someone has something to say. Actually, I'm going to take one more. Who has, oh, I get two more. Someone is, all right, I'm going to say it. Someone is waiting for sure for that commitment for the real deal. Because I feel that I do with all these cards, which I wasn't going to take all these cards, but look at how they came out, right? Someone's been waiting around for the, the talk, the commitment, you know, um, because why is it so important? Because someone does not want the other to get away. Someone may have come back as fast as they left and said, hold on a second, wait, we got to talk because I don't want you to get away. Someone feels that Aries, you are the one that is getting away or I want it, I don't want whomever you're dealing with to get away. So they're coming back. I want to tell you how I feel. Absolutely. Absolutely. Someone's coming back to tell you how they feel, right? Because they don't want you to get away. They don't, they know that you're the one that could have gotten away. And if they do allow you to get away, they probably wouldn't be able to, to deal, seriously. And vice versa, understand that. That kind of relationship, partnership is about the truth in one's heart. It's not egoic. I didn't feel that at all. Okay, Taurus. The world. The ending of what? Some of you went traveling around the world and spent some money. Some of you have left someone behind. You were holding back. You were waiting for the right timing. This is like, I'm done. Someone is done. Now, this could be a job, a relationship. Emotionally. Right? Someone just like said, I'm done. It could have been you. I feel that someone's been holding back emotionally all right, and you've just had enough. It's like been, I've been like with, you've been with someone, Taurus, who is emotionally not available. They hold back what they truly feel. And you're like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm going to be happy somewhere else. I feel someone is definitely saying, yeah, I want to find my true person. So, Whatever, whomever you have left behind, now you're like, you know what? I want to be happy now. I want to deal with someone who's going to be emotionally available and there for me. It could be a Leo and or a Cancer. I left you when I saw you with someone. So... Taurus, you've been like not with someone for a while, right? And, you know, they, they see it. 
Maybe they see it. I don't know if they did see it. Maybe they did. But I can guarantee you, someone said, they're happy. Are you happy without me? Right? I feel that you're happy without someone who was holding back and emotionally just not available. You're like, you know, I got to move on. Some of you, you moved out of a location, literally left a location that was cloudy, rainy, even with tornadoes, I don't know, Midwest, whatever, and went to sunny West Coast. Or you want to. I feel some of you are literally having a physical relocation. Others, mental relocation. Gemini. Aries comes out and making, okay, so what do I do? What do I do about someone whom can someone commit or not? Uh, Gemini, if you're dealing with an Aries or a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, what's the decision? Like, is someone contemplating making a commitment, lo longevity, giving you the world or not? Yeah. Someone's conflicted about... Okay. Someone's conflicted about wanting to give you, Gemini, everything, the world... Maybe you're already paired with someone who you travel the world with. You're good together, right? But other people, they're not good with your decision or theirs. People are giving you a hard time here. What's going on? People, you're, you're like, you're sticking up for someone and or they are of you. It's, vi it's vice versa. Yeah, it's about the home, it's about your marriage, it's about, I'm not sure if we should move in together, I'm questioning whether or not this is the real deal. You could be dealing with an Aries, right? I said, I love you unconditionally, oh my God. So someone truly wants the real deal, right? Let's, let's move in together, let's... Uh, let's, you know, take our, our money and travel the world. Let's do it all. Let's do it all. But others, I'm telling you, some people you have in your circle or theirs, jealous. And you're sticking up for your, you're sticking up for your person. You're like, you know what? I don't care what anyone says. I'm going to. I'm going to be with this person. I'm going to marry him. I'm going to move in with him. It's like, I love you unconditionally, right? It's no matter what. That's what it is. Wow. Right? All right. Cancers. Cancers. We're going to get another on that. I wasn't going to do all these cards, but you know what? Let's just do it. It's it's almost the middle. It is the middle of the year, practically, right? What's going on, Cancer, right? Some of you definitely are working on yourselves. I feel you're working on yourself, and I'm going to tell you how... Um, how are you working on yourself? I feel it's emotional and mental clarity, stability. How do I feel about this and or that? How do I feel about my job? How do I feel about my body? Taking care of your body, healing. Some of you just coming out of the dark night of the soul and healing. Now, okay, so I hear ascension symptoms right here. Some of you are going through ascension symptoms of your body and you're like, well, if you don't, you know, some of you go to the doctor because that's just what you do. Others, you already know that it's not about needing per se a doctor, but maybe for some of you now you realize, okay, so I've been going through 
some aches and pains, um, you know, some mental agility, I hear, right? Wanting to clear it all out, right? So you can be this beautiful pearl. Some of you love pearls, wear pearls. Some of you are named Pearl. You love Mother of Pearl, right? Some of you could be mothers. And you are the Pearl. You are the, the effervescent Hold on. Fragrance. Some of you are the effervescent fragrance of beauty and blessings. If you're going through some body stuff that is ascension, um, you're going to be just fine. You're just kind of healing. Look, look at this. Come on. Perfect. You're going to be just fine. It's, it's kind of like Get out of your head. I mean, truly. Get out of your head. Right? And, sorry. And work on your body. Right? Using what we know to be true as what Mother Earth provides, which is a, a grounding, like regrounding your body, right? Taking you know, um, magnesium salt baths, magnesium baths. There's flakes. There's, I just bought some, let's put this where it belongs. I just bought some, um, maybe a couple weeks ago, magnesium flakes. They are essential to healing the body. Really good for the body. I mean, obviously Epsom salt too. Okay, let's see. Cancers. I want to be more than friends. Some of you are dealing with maybe a work partner that says, what do you think? They see your beauty. Some of you have really, like, some of you have been working on your body, working out. Look, I mean, look at her body. She, uh, you know, like, we're talking, you know, abs, six-pack, you know, she lifts weights. Some of you lift weights and you're really, um, you're really showing now the progress of your body. If you do have a friend at work or someone who wants to work with you, someone here is saying, I want to work with you, Cancer. That's good. It's very good. It, it could be, okay, it could be, um, if it's a medical, in the medical field, a doctor or a chiropractor, something like that. Or someone who pulls, not pulls, acupuncture. You know, uh, a chiropractor does help you to sustain your, your, your back, your bones. You know, they, they know those trigger points, right? I know it's acupuncture points, but... It could be both, because I hear both. Okay, that was kind of, I like that, I like that. Maybe some of you are doing massage therapy, kind of like that. I feel like you're working on the, the points of also reflexology, um, definitely. Knowing how the mind and body are connected as one. And, and really working on that. Okay. Leos. Wow, Leos, what's going... Wow, right? Should we stop right now, Leos? I love this right now, this vibe. Like, let's get married. Let's move in together. Um, I, want, I want it all, right? Leo, you're dealing with maybe a Gemini and or a Virgo. I feel like you're ready. Oh, some of you, some of you are, have gone through IVF and you're getting pregnant. You just got, some of you just got implanted. Wow. I love this. Some of you, it's, 
it's um the relationship is growing someone's matured if you have a child or a grandchild right maybe this is your children and their and their children maybe they're waiting some of you could be waiting for money to come in and in, in your investments to mature someone has matured this is maturity someone's grown up right leo's i feel like you've grown up and if you do have kids your kids really maturing and allowing you the freedom to um to really appreciate and enjoy who you're with which is nice right because it's important for many of us to know that our kids are happy and the, the kids want us to be happy it works both ways right okay i love it i feel like some of you your kids are having kids they've implanted embryos or, and or kids there's kids everywhere here i bury myself in work to forget you okay i'm not so sure let's see what someone's working their butt off to forget what a relationship the oh wow toxic something is toxic here so this lover's card could be an ex leo if you were with a capricorn or a gemini i feel the relationship was toxic and that you don't want to think about it and you could it could be your baby mama and you have a leo aries sag child together and maybe you just heard i feel that right i feel some of you just heard through the grapevine there's vines here everywhere right through the grapevine leo finds out about an ex an ex-wife an ex-lover and maybe it was a toxic relationship or they're in a toxic relationship maybe you feel that way but no one else does someone's addicted still to their ex definitely someone is definitely still addicted to their ex obsessed and it could be someone that you have you know it's very close bond when you have kids with someone right that's like forever and it's not like i don't feel this um leo's i don't feel that that x is it's a it's not a bad feeling it's not i just feel someone is like oh leo's um have moved on or you feel your ex i feel it's your ex i feel your ex is totally obsessed with you or you're obsessed with them and they've moved on you may not like who they're they're looking at or they're getting ready to commit to that's what i feel all right virgos wow look at this success wow new beginnings success feeling good in the home feeling good about your body being lucky i feel some of you really are ready literally let's do this that's what i hear let's do this let's get married let's be together let's move in together you know let's put the past behind us virgos lots of you saying let's start completely over 
everything is like working out. Let me just get another couple cards. I feel you've had a convo with someone and like it's, yeah. This is like leveling up. Oh my God. Sex and more sex. Someone may visit you or you them and it's like the party's on. You're totally in love. You're having lots of physical, there's physical attraction for sure and lots of sex. Lucky in love. Oh my God, Virgo. Lucky in love. You've got the dragon and the iguana. That's like double luck. I want to be more than friends. Okay, so I feel that you've been watching someone or you know someone in your neighborhood. For some of you, it's someone in your neighborhood. And you've been watching, um, maybe you've been just, you know, a casual, hey, how are you? Or it could be you've been friends with them before or you are friends with them and you never thought you physically are attracted, obviously, to this person. Could be Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay? Virgos, what? You're like, yes, I want to level up. Maybe you're moving in together. Maybe you just wanted to say, what do you think? Do you want to move in together? Should we level up? Wow. Things are really coming together, right? I feel you're so excited about that, Virgo, because it has been a rough ride for a while. I like it. It's very nice. I feel like I feel like you're you worked hard for something to be with someone. They worked hard to be with you. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Libra. It is a nice feeling, isn't it? Libra, look at this beautiful nine of cups right here coming out for you. Oh, manifestation. Uh, the world here is your oyster. What are you doing? What are you manifesting? Is it a manifestation of something that you're going to create that you're like, you know what? I'm not going to worry about anything except this creation. I'm not going to worry about what other people say, how they think, what they're doing. I'm staying in my own situation here, working hard, staying in my lane. I feel like you have some... Okay, for some, it could be competition. I feel there's some people who really feel as though they're jealous. People are jealous, Libra. Some people are jealous at, like, not only who you're with, more importantly, they're jealous because you're happy and they're not. Because you are creating your world the way that you see it. The way that you envision your world is coming from a place of great happiness, emotional stability. Everything's good, right? And then you have the naysayers. The ones that say, oh, Libra, you shouldn't spend your money on that. Oh, Libra... Um, you know, I'm jealous, but I'm not going to tell you. So in order for me to, you know, stick around with a Libra who has, is getting all of their karmic justice of good things, I feel others are jealous. And they're going to act out. I'm just going to say, I feel there are going to be some people who are going to act out of character, right? You're going to be like, what is this? I have to do this for Libra. Hold on. Let's get one card for the five of pentacles and 
Oh, you have two fives. Manifesting. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you. I feel that, yeah, look. I feel you're turning your back on people who are literally not for good for you. They don't add value, right? Five of Pentacles. People are not adding value. And if you don't come correct, you have to come correct. No longer are you going to participate and or put up with bullshit. Exactly. You're like, you know what? I'm happy. I'm doing my thing. I don't want to deal. Because this guy, this is you. You're looking at these people like they're crazy. Some of you, they may be looking at you like you're crazy, but you don't care because you're in charge of what you're doing. I feel that this wheel turning is you have extracted all the right people. Oh, I'm hearing that song all the right moves, right? And all the... What is that song? Oh my God, One Republic. Stop and stare. That's it. That's it. Yep. People are stopping to stare at how happy you are, what you're creating, what you're doing, I'm not saying you're talking about it. I don't think you're telling people what you're doing. I think that there's something coming up that's going to make you extremely happy and all the right moves and all the right pl places, people are stopping to stare at Libra. The timing just wasn't right for us. So that's who these naysayers are. These could be exes, these could be, you know, those people who don't have your best interest at heart. And you're like, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I feel that Libras, you don't care. The timing wasn't right. The vibe was totally off. People had to change their attitude. I hide behind material things. Yep. Some of you people just want what they can't have. That's big. That's very important. Libras, there are people that are wanting what they can't have. And that is you. And they're not happy about it. Well, if you don't come correct. And how? what does that mean when we say that? If you don't come correct. If you cannot add value to my life, then don't come back. Don't even don't even entertain the thought. Because your wishes are all coming true, like in love and in work. I feel you're gonna be like, you're gonna be out there doing your thing here and there, Libra. And people are gonna be like, Stopping to stare in je jealous. Maybe you need some black obsidian for sure. Protection from jealous, angry people that can't tab you. I love it. It happens. Scorpio, right? The beauty of Libra. I love it. Scorpio. Wow, look at this. Are you kidding me right now? Happy, happy-go-lucky, happy-go-lucky. Hello, I love it. Ah, new beginnings, new starts, feeling good, looking good, feeling good, lucky. Wow, out of the blue, you're like, you wake up and you're like, oh, you look in the mirror, right? I love this. This is funny. I mean, it's fun. It's like, do we ever admit that we, if we look in the mirror one day and say, wow, I look damn good, right? 
Do you say that? Have you been working out? Yeah. I look good. I'm moving. I'm making money. I'm making moves. I'm making money moves. I'm happy. I'm lucky. Happy go lucky. I love it. I feel good. I look good. I'm not going to tell anybody that when I look in the mirror, you know, I'm looking fine. You know, like I got my shit together. I'm grounded. I make good money. Some of you just got a new job and you're excited because you're like, oh my God, I never thought I'd get this job. Some of you might have really put in some money for a home. Wow, you came closer than anyone. So I feel that even though it says you came closer than anyone, I feel you're going back to the person who came closer than anyone. Yes. Right? Maybe you had these three options, right? I don't react when people mention you. Yeah. So some of you felt like I probably shouldn't react for whatever reason because I'm starting new. Like, don't look back. Let me just help you. Let's see. I don't mention people. I don't mention. Sorry. I don't react when people mention you, right? Yeah. It's like, I'm over it. I'm over it mentally, over it and emotionally. Some of you Scorpios are mentally over like exes. People that, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, now that I think about it, that happened for a reason, a good reason, right? And now you're like, everything turns around for you. So I'm glad that I actually, I feel that since I, Spirit wanted me to really get into that, I feel that that's exactly what you did. I feel that you really got into your feels and into your, your, the, what makes you happy and stable and, you know, it's like everything just turned, like the flip, you flipped the switch, Scorpio. You just did. I love it. You took control back of your life without others being, you know, having their say-so. I feel like you, you're finally in charge. I love it. That's a good thing. A very good thing. Okay. And, you know, when we're internally feeling great, right, it shows from the inside out. And that's the beauty. I love it. All right, Saggies. Look at that beautiful right here. Working out. People are working out. People are getting ready to go. You're getting ready to go. Some of you are going on vacation, cruises. You're going to sunny places. Wow, I love it. Wow, look at this. This is great. I'm happy. I'm in a, I, I'm happy in my home. I'm emotionally happy. I look great. Again, this last, like, it's interesting, right? Because the sun is in Gemini. And I feel like, and we do have, um, Jupiter. Jupiter's really working on many of us getting back to basics. Like, I want to be happy. I want to look good. I want to feel good. I want to be emotionally stable. I want to be financially stable. Jupiter is helping us all out in that, in that way. And look at how it's happening for you, Saggies. You guys are looking good, feeling good. Your money's on point. 
some of you are making some really good money and or you've either moved into a new home, a big home, or I just feel like, like you got promoted, you got a raise, you're working hard, you know, you've, you've earned this, Sagis, you've earned this. And again, working out, looking good, right? And getting ready to go on a trip. I mean, it is summer, I get it. A cruise perhaps to Ireland, to, I heard the Netherlands, Scotland. Wow, and the Seven of Swords is like, did you think that you were gonna be affected by anything that has, I feel like Sagis, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius kind of wants to spoil your party. I'm so sorry. I am. I feel a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for some of you. Look, there. some of you people are jealous because you're happy. I mean, look at the difference here. Sagis, you're happy and your ex isn't. Now that came out with a couple other signs. We have Aquarius here. But I feel Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is like, oh, great. They're leaving. They're leaving. They're leaving. They left. They left. This is an ex. This is an old, an old energy where they're like looking. They're not going to say anything. But they're looking at how happy you are, how good you look, how much money you're making. Life is grand, Sagis. You, you own it, you deserve it, and it is yours. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. And that is where the beauty comes in, from within. And now Libra, Libra, Scorpio, and Sagis, you guys are getting a lot of Jupiter happening right here. Not saying that it's not happening for other signs, but when it comes to expansion of our self-esteem, I feel Sagis, um, who else? Pisces has had it a little rough. Sagis went through it. Virgos went through it. Virgos cleaned out their, you know, their cobwebs. Sagis, you cleaned out your cobwebs. I feel Libra's just, that's moving toward success now. And so let's not get off track, but I guess there's a reason why I'm saying that because there is a time in each of our natal charts where we, it's a cleanup, right? Cleaning up, severing ties, ending new beginnings. Everything's happening now for us to be to start a lot of us are starting over right the new moon happens for us jupiter's happening for us in gemini so that we can start over but it's almost as though part of us is changing in so far as not just knowing that we're physically and spiritually working on ourselves right we learned you learned a lot of lessons here, Sagis, I feel that you could have really gotten yourself in back into a mess with an ex or with someone that you might have been interested in. I feel that you didn't take the bait and you are now feeling great because you didn't take the bait. And that's happening for a lot of signs. It's like, I'm not going to revisit because I'm happy now. I love, I love that. And, and so for, for all of us, we are coming out of those of you who watch my channel, you're certainly understanding the beauty that Jupiter brings to us all, right? And the lessons that Saturn, right, has come to show us. Saturn's the dad, right? Okay. 
And then, right, it's always darkest before the dawn. And that's what a lot of people are going through right now. Right? Even if you see a smidge of light, that there is hope. Always. All right. Capricorns. Capricorns. Secrets. Kids are keeping secrets. Yes. Some Capricorn, some of you, your kids are telling you their secrets. I love that. It's like, you know, I got a secret. Um, it's kind of cute, you know, it's cute. It's like, oh, mom, dad, let me tell you, um, I've been secretly liking this boy at school or this girl at school, right? Yeah, I got a crush. Right, I hear it. I got a crush. That's so cute. Yes, that's what it is. How cute is that? So, a secret crush that your kids are confiding in you. Do you know how that's huge? That's massive. For those of you who this re resonates with, this is so cool. Because nowadays, kids don't even talk, right? Yeah, I I know this is like so, it's spot on. And it's not going to relate to every Capricorn, but I feel this massive. I also feel, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you that a child is feeling their sexuality now. I do. I feel they're coming into their own. And, you know, if you haven't had the talk, it's time to have the talk, right? What's the talk? Do we ever, do parents really have the talk with their kids? Well, if they don't, they should. Because the innocence of a child, knowing your temple, the physical body is a temple. And allowing you to have the talk with your kids about that. That's the mystery of the universe, right? Is it's not like we're going to have, we're going to tell the world what we're, how we're talking now or what I am going about to tell you as a parent to, to a kid. Like these feelings are real, exploring, whatever. But it is a conversation that... Now, someone could have asked someone, did you do something with someone else? And they could have lied. So I feel the lie turns into the truth. When asked about a secret crush and or uh, physical feelings, right? The loins are, are, um, are lit. <laughs> But they're gonna they're gonna confess the truth. They're gonna tell you. They are. You know, it's not easy to have that convo with your parents. Some of us don't have never had that convo with their with our parents, right? It's been hush. I feel that we need to realize as parents that that is part of life. Hello? And realizing it from a standpoint. More importantly, a standpoint of the body is the temple. And not to, you know, that talk has to happen, especially with what's going on out there. Out there. <laughs> All right. That has to happen. You may, Capricorn, have... Kids that are really, you know, they're really out there, they're, they're playful, they're, you know, extremely attractive kids, and you need to protect them by having that convo. All right, let's go. Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, what is this, this negative thinking immediately? Wow, 
way up in your head, Aquarius, about kids, grandkids, what's going on, having a fight with your kids. Uh, I have um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, could be another air sign or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's going on? Two kids, not two kids are fighting. If you have two kids, they're fighting. They are totally different, right? One's intellectual, they're logical, the other is all heart, emotions, right? And we're, we can't see eye to eye, we're trying to break it up. Wow, look at that. Kids are fighting. So you're having this, Aquarius, you may be having this, this talk for you is, hey, kids, listen, we need to love ourselves, uh, love each other, love, love your differences. If it's not a kid and you're dealing with someone who you're dating, it's like embrace the changes that we may not see eye to eye on. That's the beauty of life. I mean, come on, Aquarius. If we were all the same, what would life be like? It'd be boring. If we had the same interests, if we had the same desires and, and or even food, I don't know where that came from. Like even having like, what do you want for dinner, right? PB&J or, you know, the other one wants filet. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of vibe. It's like, just let's embrace because I will tell you that these, if this, if these are your kids or if it's, a, you know, someone you're dating or what have you, right? You know, life is short. And those things that make us different and individually our own fragrance makes one more open to broadening our horizons to the possibilities of how others think and what they feel. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you, so maybe you're up in your head about an ex. I'm becoming a better person. Okay, so for some of you, this is what happened. You had a blowout, you don't see eye to eye, you're not, maybe someone's not emotionally in it. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here, Scorpio. Maybe we just don't get along right now to get along. So, and I feel massive kids not getting along here. I mean, some of you as a parent are staying up late at night saying, shit, what am I gonna do? My kids don't get along. They're fighting all the time. Even though they know in the backdrop, you know if it's you or your kids or your spouse or, who, or, or, or an attractive person that you're dating or dated. I say that because of these flowers. I feel someone wants to put, you know, has that I told you so feather in your cap. Don't be the one, Aquarius, to say, I told you so. Okay, I'm becoming a better person because I realize that our differences are what make us. And I feel that maybe later you will come to realize that your differences are what make us so different and makes the world go round. Also, for some of you, I did hear, some of you are having twins, you're pregnant. Congrats. I'm so excited. You're having, you, you may have a child, right? And now you're, you could be with two. Oh my God. Listen, comment for sure. Someone's preggers. I love it. All right, let's go. Pisces. We've been all around the world and we go to Pisces, right? For our, for getting us grounded and loving us so, right? All right, let's talk for real though. 
It is for real. I'm joking. Some of you are really saving your money for kids, kids' education. Some of you, you're telling your kids to get a job. Some of you are telling a, a Scorpio and or Taurus Maybe, maybe your kids just got a new job. Maybe they're bringing in money. Maybe they're giving you money. Some of you are like surprised that you're literally getting money from your kids. Ha, huh, what a concept, right? Because before it wasn't happening. Yeah, Scorpio. You got Scorpio and Cancer. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Taurus. Okay, Pisces, if it is. Someone has been going through a dark night of the soul and it ended. Maybe you're waiting for someone to like, right? You know, get it together. Figure it out. Someone emotionally maybe emotionally wasn't available. I do want to take one card from my beautiful Pisceans. Maybe someone said, oh, I'm hearing someone saying, not now, it's not the right time. I don't know. Yeah, this could be a father-son connection. Okay, I'm going to say it. If a water sign has, it's a father, has crossed over, that child, that soulmate, the fragrance of, it's fragrance, the fragrance of Pisces, listen to this, the fragrance of your kids and or grandkids are emitting the same fragrance of an ex-husband or a husband who has crossed over. In your kids, you see like the fragrance of meaning, what the common commonalities, right? It's like someone, you're, let's just say you're dating someone, right? They're a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, another water sign, sorry. And they're acting just like dad, whether dad's around or not. And it's like, oh my God, right? This is karmic justice. Like you're like, oh my God, they're just like my kids. And it could be a step parent. It could be a step child. I mean, I'm feeling that the fragrances of your children with the parents are huge. If you don't think it's, let's just say you're not dating anyone, right? The person that you're, the person that you have been with in the past, or if you are a widower, they, your kids are acting just like them. You know how you go around, we go around saying, because you know, we don't all have exes, but the ones that do, which is prevalent today, the ones that do say, oh my God, you're just like your dad. That's this. Oh my God, you're just like your mother. That's this. <laughs> but it's cute, all right? It's cute. It's like, it's, it's really cute. The kids are really cute. I hide behind material things. Well, saving money, I feel this was a big, a big draw here, is saving money for the future of your children, right? College education, um, helping them to get started, helping them to get on their feet. For some of you, a father's working really hard in order to help the kids. So many things remind me of you. If it is an X here, like I said, it is going to be, oh my God, you're just like your mother and or father. If you're not with anyone, this is you. Gosh, you think to yourself, 
let's just say you're outside in the yard gardening and some out of the blue, you think, just like my mom. I know, I couldn't even imagine that I'm that these flowers are growing and that I can actually have and put together a garden so well. Some of you following footsteps footsteps of your mother and or father in business, following mom and dad's career or being guided maybe maybe innately you're an artist or you are you know you have a green thumb and unbeknownst to you dad had a green thumb mom had a green thumb do you know what i mean beautiful absolutely beautiful and these kids are absolutely adorable i don't know who they are pisces let me know these kids are so beautiful and they remind you like each kid reminds you of the fragrance of of your mom and dad or you are the mom and dad it's very cool i love it all right let's get a collective card real quick what's going on venus <laughs> i love it venus right it's all about love you guys i mean let's just talk about love but let's talk about the fragrance of love comes in all shapes, sizes. We believe certain ways in which we grew up. We become sometimes the people that we have grown up to become exemplifying that of our mother and or father. We find ourselves loving people in different ways. And do we appreciate the ways that love shows up for us? Do we? I love you guys. Have a great week. And I'm here for you. Comment, like, please, subscribe. Thank you. And share.